So, welcome back to my dojo. This is Tactical Tuesday with Johnny Tiger. The date is May 26th, 2020. And we are back for some self-defense and martial art. This is week number 12 of the coronavirus, staying at home, social distancing, and all that good stuff. Beautiful sunny day out there. I already went out for my daily dose of sunlight. And I'm ready for the topic of the day, which is the art of the one-arm bandit. Now, we're not talking about casino. We're not talking about playing the slot machine. But sometimes when we are training, especially in a conventional fighting style, like boxing or kickboxing or uh, even MMA and a lot of other striking martial arts, we get trapped into a pattern. Or if you are practicing Taekwondo or Karate, you get trapped into a lot of different patterns. But eventually, people become predictable. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, 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 two. One, two, three. Three, four, three. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. What's going on there? Yes, we get used to using left, right, left, right. If the first punch is a right, almost certainly the next punch is going to be a left for a lot of people. Now, when you run to professionals, sometimes you'll, they'll change things up. They'll do three, three, four, three, three, four, three, three, two. They got two or three shots in with one hand before the power hand come up. But still, it's more or less predictable. You know that other hand come in sooner or later. Most of the time, sooner rather than later. But what happens if that hand is not there, or that hand is busy, or can't be uh, added to the fight? Like in a lot of cases, for those of us who are totally blind, we are out there, we are walking around with our white cane, with our, well, some of you sighted folks like to say our walking sticks. And if someone come up and let's say we get into a fight, and what are we going to do? Drop that walking stick, drop, drop our white cane, and then deal with the attacker, and then hopefully we can find it later, or hopefully we don't step on it and break it. Or if we step on it and break it, now we can't get home. So, this is why I started practicing how to fight, not quite as well, but almost as well, just with one hand. One hand, two hand, no problem. And today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what to practice to get good at that. I'm almost as quick with one hand punches as I am with two. For a lot of people, the lead hand is usually jab, hook, uppercut. There's only three variations. Unless you add the occasional backhand and the occasional elbow, but still, most people only expect this lead hand to be the jab hand. They expect trouble from the back hand. So what we want to do is train our lead hand to be able to do what the back hand can do. How we do that is to learn to switch our stance mid-punch. 
Now it's the lead hand. Now it's the off hand. Now it's the off hand. Now it's the lead hand. Jab, 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 cross. Jab, 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 cross. I'm not switching the hand. All I'm doing is switching stance. When you switch stand, make sure you're not hopping, not jumping up. You want to shuffle one foot and then shuffle the other foot. So as I shuffle my back foot forward, my front foot is shuffling back. A quick twist at the hip and suddenly my lead hand is now the power hand. And I can do this while my jab is going. All that without engaging my second hand. So this also put pressure on whoever I'm fighting because at the back of their mind they know that they're fighting me, I'm fighting them, but I still have one hand in reserve. This hand is not coming out, this hand is not coming out but it may come out anytime. Let me lower the camera so you guys can watch my leg movement for switching the stance. I hope that is low enough. So I'm not jumping I'm switching. It's not like a jumping lunge. Okay? I'm shuffling. 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 Trying to keep my weight down. Trying to keep my shoulder low. Moving. 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 Jab jab. Jab 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 cross. 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 Jab 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 jab. Cross, 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 jab. Okay? Try to minimize the hopping around as much as you can. Now let's bring the camera up so you guys are not just looking at my groin. What else can we learn with the one hand? Well, one very good combo to master is a jab hook, jab hook, jab hook, jab hook, okay? Rather than jab cross, which is very predictable, we want to be able to transition from a jab into that hook right away. And let's go back to what we talked about before, how to throw the quick, short hook. Jab hook, jab hook, jab hook through the body, jab hook through the body. Don't forget, you don't always have to lead with the jab. One hand can start with hook, hook jab, hook jab, hook jab. And if we are switching our stance, like what we were practicing, then we can hook, jab, cross, all with one hand. Hook, jab, cross, all with one hand. Hook, jab, cross, all with one hand. We haven't even covered uppercut yet. Another thing to keep in mind is changing level. Now we talked about changing your stance. We're going to talk about changing level. A lot of people when they're fighting, they stay upright. They come in, their regular height, regular stance, regular form. 
But if you are using your one hand, remember, it's not just up here in the face, it's not just chest, but the whole area down here, belly, groin, leg, you can exploit. Jab, change level, but into your belly. Jab, change level, okay? All I'm doing is shuffling my back foot, back one, a few inches. Drop down and come out. Okay, it's like a back lunge. That will add more power to your low punches. Now come in, jab, run right into your belly. Jab to the face, power punch into the belly. What I'm doing is doing a slight back lunge before the low punch come in. Okay? You can change this up. High, low, high. High, low, high. High, high, low. High, high, low. High, low, low, high. All in one hand, while the other hand is always here. A ever present danger. Something for them to worry about. Adding elbow. This time, rather than that little back lunge, we're going to skip forward, shuffle forward with our jab. So I'm jabbing, shuffling forward at the same time, elbow coming across. Again, with the same hand, jab elbow, jab elbow, jab elbow. If you take nothing away from this lesson, then just remember, don't always stay in that pattern. One, two, one, two, left, right, left, right. Challenge yourself. Fight, train, using only one hand. And pretty soon, you'll find that you can do just as much damage with one hand and save a heck of a lot of energy. Thank you for checking out today's Tactical Tuesday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Wisdom Wednesday. For now, stay safe, stay strong, and have a good night.